Hi Pisces, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Pisces is going to be a reading on your person. This is behind the scenes. Yes, it is. Once again, we are in their computer. Yes, we have hacked their computer. And we have their phone records. <clears throat> yes, and we have an agent who has been following them around. Of course not. Hope you guys are all well, Pisces. And please be aware, these are general. Please check your moon and your rising as well, or your person's moon and rising if you can do that, right? Or if you are the cross watcher or the person, if you are a Pisces person, uh, you can do that. Yes, you can. Because it's general and it may or may not resonate. And also, these energies could be your person's Pisces. And from the wild unknown is the L card. This is the card I have pulled for your person. They could be stable, resilient, headstrong, and the father type. Yes, somebody who could be kind of like the emperor, right? Mm-hmm. And the great elk represents the earth element. Yes, you could be dealing with an earth sign too. I know a lot of you have been in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality is fully established in themselves and know their core value. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated. But for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. So let's see. That sounds like an earth sign to me. Kind of, sort of. Emperor as well. Let's see where your person. And let's go ahead and cut these cards. Right now, the energy they are in is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Crossing them is the Seven of Wands. On their mind is you, Pisces, crowning their thoughts, the hangman. In the near future, they are in the Eight of Swords energy. Their fears is the death card. Wow. And in their environment is the Wheel of Fortune. This could be a Sagittarian, just kind of looking at the other readings. Yes, it could be change, uh, faded changes for them. And what they want is the High Priestess in the reverse. This could maybe be you, Pisces. Yes, it could. I mean, yeah, it can. Because the High Priestess, uh, as a person, is Scorpio or Pisces. Yes. Let's see, though. They could be wanting to expose a secret over here. High Priestess in the reverse. Let's see, though. Let's see why they are in the Page of Pentacles energy. Why is it in the reverse for Pisces person? The moon card is in the reverse. This could be you as well, Pisces. Wow. Mm -hmm. This could be, they could be in the dark about a situation. The moon card, whether or not it's in the upright or reverse, can be that energy. <coughs> two of wands. Wow, they look like they are choosing between two people or taking a path, moving forward in their life. Uh, the two of wands could be choosing between two. Yes, it can. All the twos could be choosing between two. Uh, excuse me just a minute, you guys. Just too cold in here. Yes, it is. And let's see what we have. I'm a little sick, you guys, so if I sound unattractive, what I mean by that is kind of an ugly voice. It's because I'm sick. I don't have an ugly voice. <laughs> Let's see what we have, you guys. Let's get uh, a card for your person, Pisces. The Seven of Wands. They look like they're overwhelmed. Why do they have that Seven of Wands there? Page of Pentacles. Let's go back to their current energy, though. Page of Pentacles in the reverse is like <coughs> a new start they want. They could be making a choice here. They could be wanting a new start. This could be you in the reverse next to the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be that they want a new start. They're choosing between two. This could mean that you're at a disadvantage, though, Pisces. It could, okay, because that could be you in the reverse. Crossing them is judgment with the Seven of Wands. They look like they're trying to make a decision, and that they are so super overwhelmed. Judgment, yeah, with, with the Seven of Wands. There could be Aries here for some of you. I beg your pardon, because... The Magician is in the reverse. Mm -hmm. The Five of Swords is showing up. Yeah. This is this can be third party energy, but this is like... This can be, in my opinion, with, I mean, with, this, with the Judgment and the Magician in the reverse, 
it's possible they are resisting making a decision, but I feel like it is more that they are overwhelmed about it. Maybe it's giving somebody a second chance from the past. Judgment can be past life relationship. Mm-hmm. The magician is in the reverse. They could feel like they, they don't have any power here. Mm -hmm. It could be about a new beginning they want. Magician in the reverse, but they are yet to realize that, right? Maybe they have to make a decision in order to do that, in order to implement that, of course. Five of Swords is showing up. This can be loss and despair. Yeah. I feel like it's a sabotage. For me, Pisces, your person is thinking of sabotaging a union, whether or not it's with you or somebody else. Five of four of wands is the reason. Why is the four of wands the reason? <coughs> Nine of cups in the reverse. Wow. Your person could have fear here. I feel like they have some fear here. The moon card in the reverse can sometimes be fear. I feel like they have fear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like they have fear. Yes, about making a decision. Yeah, I feel like they could. They could have fear here. They're super overwhelmed, but they are. It could be about healing it with somebody. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Cups is in the reverse. could be a liar. could be a trickster. It could be that they are just having fear. But I see, I, I see fear in this reading. Six of Swords. Wow. I think your person, I feel like your person here, Pisces, is, it's possible here, we haven't even got to this part of the reading, but you could be dealing with somebody, your person could be wanting to be with somebody here, this is how I see it, and they could have fear that this person has moved on, like they can't heal it with this person, and this could be about a decision from them moving on from you, it could. Let's look at the rest of the reading to find out, Four, six of wands is in the past, this is... This could be overcoming uh, a union, maybe uh, a marriage. And this looks like it is change and having victory. The, the devil card is in the reverse. I feel like your person could have made a decision to move towards somebody here, Pisces. Yes, but they, they made a decision, but they haven't done it because they have fear. Look at nine of pentacles in the past for them. I feel like they, they, could have, they could have been stuck about this. Yeah, about becoming single. You could be married to them, and you could be facing an ending with them. Yeah, you could. Maybe you want to walk away from them. Possibility. The hangman is what's on their mind. I feel like it is you. Why is the hangman there for a Pisces person? Seven of swords. Nine of cups in the reverse. I feel like they're making a decision that is like, yeah, I feel like they could be walking away from you, Pisces. Yeah. For some of you guys, it could be feeling like you're, you're see, you're, you are sneaky here about something that you want, Nine of Cups, like a wish you want, right? Because these readings can be reversed all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This could be your person's, this could be like your energy here, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of their energy, I feel like they are... Uh, Maybe they are feeling stuck here. It's a possibility, but I think that is you. And they, crowning their thoughts as they because they look like they want to move towards somebody else. Why is the Nine of Cups here? We're going to find out. Why is that there in the reverse? The Hermit. So you're dealing with a Virgo. Mm -hmm. And you have been dealing with Eight of Cups. This is them. I feel like what they are doing here is that they are trying to, like, plot a getaway. Yeah, that's what I really think here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can say that because the Seven of Swords is here, the Devil, although it's in the reverse, Five of Swords. Yeah, a lot of kind of, you know, kind of harsh energy, and yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this over here. And the near future for your person is the Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Sun card, the... Uh, the Mm, let's see, they look like they're trying to get clarity on a new beginning. Emperor, Page of Swords. Yeah. What this means to me is that they don't know. You could be dealing with somebody controlling the Emperor or an Aries. 
<coughs> father figure type. And remember, the elk is like that. It's like the father figure type, the elk, yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. But I feel like what this is is that your person, they don't, excuse me, they don't, they have fear over here about like moving towards somebody, but they don't know how to do it. And it could be maybe, <coughs> they could be uh, overwhelmed because they were sneaky with this person or they did something mean to this person. Five of swords, it can be. Because it looks like they are, you know, what's all happening for them is they could have fear here to heal a situation with them, right? They could have fear in leaving you maybe because maybe they can't heal it with this person. I feel like they feel like this person has moved on or, or will move on because maybe they feel like this person, you know, they manipulated this person. This is what I mean. Let's get a card on that Five of Swords. This is where they are overwhelmed about having a new beginning with somebody. Yeah, that's what this is. Why is that Five of Swords there? Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. Yeah, they don't know if they could have a new beginning with somebody because they could have been manipulative. Yeah, they could have been shitty. And it could have been that they had this person in a, in a third party with you and maybe they treated them badly in some way, right? You know, like like anything. Like you're, like you're not really important to me. You're just kind of like, I'm married to somebody else. I have somebody else. Take it, Take this for what it is. Because I don't think your person is with this person. This is my point, Pisces. I feel like they are not with this person. I feel like they're with you. And what they fear is the death card. Why do they fear that? <clears throat> See, they fear an ending and that somebody is leaving them out. Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to figure that out. And for me, it could be about a fire sign, a Sagittarian, when we see the wheel right here. Four of Swords. They're trying to figure out, this is what they are fearing. If this person will, like, leave them out. They could be fearing that they can't transform a situation, right? They can't, like, yeah. And the Wheel of Fortune is in their environment. Let's see why. The World card. The Seven of Cups are having, yeah, your person to me... They could be making a hard choice here. I feel like this whole reading is about them making a hard choice. Yeah. And you guys should go check out the uh, the Virgo reading. I feel like that is you in their reading, uh, Pisces. Mm -hmm. And it could be a Queen of Wands there too. So let's see. For some of you, not for all of you, of course, in their desired position is the High Priestess in the reverse. Why is that there? Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Justice card. This could be saying they want a divorce. I feel like that's I feel like that's what this is. This is in their desired position. I feel like this is you, Pisces. And it could be about a third party. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This is what they want. I feel like they don't they don't want to work on their marriage anymore. I feel like you are in the reverse there. Let's get one more card. Why is justice there? King of Swords in the reverse. They want to make a decision. They're having a really hard time. So we're going to find out all about your person, uh, Pisces. Yes, we are. Whoever this challenging person is that you've been dealing with. Mm -hmm. This elk personality person. And we're going to pull some oracle cards over there. Yes, we are. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. This is your person's reading in case anybody got uh, confused here. <laughs> And we're going to talk about the underlying energies, how they feel about you, Pisces. The blocks or the challenges, right? These are for you, though, typically. What they're hiding from you, what they're fearing, and their true, not their true intentions, but the actions they're going to take or their outcome, which is really the same thing. Thank you so much for joining me here today. All the extended readings are super affordable. If you guys need your own reading, that's always the best way.